We're the first people ever to attempt the impossible, to actually fly a house with balloons. It might sound completely nuts, but perhaps it really can be done. After all, it's just balloons tied to a house, right? How hard can it be? The house weighs 100,000 pounds. Yeah. Why don't we start with something that weighs one pound, see how many balloons that takes to lift. Right, so it's 11 times 5.2 million plus 5.2 million. So 10 million balloons? No, 55 million. Our flying house will sit on a lightweight base. This base is just like the gondola beneath a hot air balloon and it's Paul's job to design it. This really beats a, a stupid wicker basket. I guess we'll find out about that. There's no two ways around it. If we fly a house out of an airstrip in the desert and they land it and step out the front door totally unharmed, that is a feat. We could lose our balloonists. Our rigging could fail. Our balloons could leak. My God, look at that pile of helium. I do have concerns. You know, the sun is going down and the structure is not built. And very apparent that two humans are going to fly in this house, you know, in this, in this airframe that we built, which is really scary. I mean, these guys are going to be at 10,000 feet in a flying house we built. And their safety, their lives depend on, in a very real sense, on the work that we did. And they're going to be in a situation where there's very little recourse if something goes wrong. Is our opening seven by seven now or seven by six? Where do we end up making it? I, I, you know, if I I'll just double check. Kill myself. I think we have fewer balloons than we thought. I'm looking at 20 of those canisters filled with helium still that didn't get put on. I hope it goes soon. Everybody listen to me real quick. Nobody talks right now. has never been done and will probably never be done again. This is unique. Making the Pixar film up a reality. The brand new series of How Hard Can It Be? starts with Balloon House exclusively on National Geographic Channel.